What's up guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about the Sentin and the Max. Two completely different platforms, I realize, but um, I bumped the Sentin to 4S, so I figured I'd do a little 4S battle between these two. Um, I did some recent upgrades on the Sentin and the Max. Um, on the Sentin, I put the Badlands uh, MX-28s, the belted. These are the thinner ones. And I did a 25 kilogram servo with the Hot Racing uh, fixed link steering servo that has just under uh, 400 ounce inches of torque. On the Max, I did the 80 weight uh, shock oil. I did the Wide Max kit, and I did a 46 tooth spur on that. Um, try to get a little bit more speed out of it. We had a chance to run the trucks over the course of a couple days. I got footage over those couple days. Um, I hit a BMX track for the first time with the Sentin. We hit the construction site down the street. We did some drag racing there on the grass, on the pavement, and some dirt. And then we did some ramp jumps uh, down the street in a little grass plot we have. It's the only open spot I have to do ramp jumps right around my house. So first, we're gonna get into the drag race, and let's take a look at that first. One, two, three, go. I think I got you that time. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Three, go. On go. One, two, three, go. Oof. One, two, three, go. Got you that time. So there's some pretty good drag racing footage there between the two vehicles. You can see they're pretty evenly matched. I actually like the Max a little bit better for drag racing because you can kind of just lay into the throttle and just point and click and it just goes. The setting, you're, you have to steer that thing the whole time and with these thinner tires on there, it makes it a little bit more difficult to keep it straight in a straight line when you're uh, running 4S on this thing. Next up is the uh, ramp footage I took with the two with my son and I jumping. Um, testing out the uh, 80 weight shock fluid and that and this thing with the belted tire. So let's take a look at that now After watching that footage, I definitely think that the Max needs some help in the shock department still. I'm going to keep working at that and get to the point where it's finally um, able to get more of a powder puff landing and uh, you know maybe get some bigger tires for it. It would definitely help. The Sentin, I like the Badlands. I like the belted tires, ramp jumping. I have no problem with them. It's still able to do double backflips and stuff like that, so I'm not worried about it. I like the tires a lot. 25 kilo, 25 kilogram servo is definitely a beast. It, it, it definitely has a lot of strength turning the truck. Does exactly what I wanted to do. Fixed link steering servo held up good, no problems with it. Stayed tight, everything's good, so can't complain. So I was finally able to get over to BMX track um, over in a couple towns over from where I live. I've been wanting to go over there for quite some time now and haven't been able to. And the day I went over, I had limited time, and it was very, very cold. 15 degrees wind chill, if not lower than that. And uh, I was having a hard time driving the truck. My hands were freezing. Um, it was pretty tough. It was really windy. And, you know, driving down on the track, all I could really do, as you can see here, is just some backflips. It's hard to really drive around a track when you're down on the track. You can't see, you know, past some certain hills and jumps and stuff. You can't drive the truck if you can't see it. So... It's not intended for RC cars, but it was nice to get over there and try it out. I'll definitely be going back to that track in the future. Um, I did have a casualty after I brought the trucks back and was inspecting and cleaning and everything. Um, the Max 
one of the back um, skid plate um, screws in the back ripped off during the run somewhere during those, those couple days. I think it was the last day I ran the trucks and it was the day we went to the construction site. Um, I think it ripped off, but we we did do the ramp jumps that day, so I'm not sure maybe if it caught on the ramp screw. I think it was when the truck flipped when we were racing and hit a, it hit a piece of concrete or hit a stone or something, something hard and embedded frozen into the ground and ripped the screw out. No joke. So that's it, guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to stay up to date on all my rigs and all my videos, hit that subscribe button. I can really use the support. Thanks a lot, guys. Later. Peace.